so this is uh, the outline. We're going to cover structure of cohesive soil today. For cohesive soil, and um, we are um, focusing on clay, as I mentioned. And for clay, so the first thing I want to discuss is the um, this clay particles. So clays are very different from sand or gravels because clays are basically charged particles. So if I so if I draw a clay particle here, so these are like tiny particles on um, micron on a few microns in size. So these very tiny particles, they are charged. So you have, uh, so I call this face. And this is edge. Okay. So on the face, you have negatively charged charges. So you have negatively charged faces. and positively charged edge. Okay. And of course, negatively charged. Okay. And because clay particles are charged particles, they interact with each other and they interact with water very different from uh, sand, sand particles or gravel particles. Okay. And for clays, in terms of structure, there are two types of structures. Um, it's actually shown on this figure, on this slide here. The first type of structure, this is highlighted, this is basically that up, uh, up left. So this is called the dispersed structure. Okay. So this dispersed structure as shown on, on this slide here, basically all the particles those individual particles, they are oriented mostly parallel to each other. So they are face to face, basically. And because of this negatively charged face, they are basically kind of in repel uh, to each other. So they are uh, in parallel fashion. So that's the first structure, type of structure called dispersed structure. And the second type, also shown actually in this figure here, is called uh, flocculated structure. So this flocculated structure as shown here, uh, if you look at these two highlighted figures, they are in a face to edge fashion. So basically the negatively charged face is attached to or is attracted to the positively charged edge. So that's a face to edge fashion. And that's called the flocculated structure. And um, in terms of where you can find clays that are mostly flocculate, flocculated, uh, so clay deposits formed in sea are highly flocculent. And so all these structures, so this clay structure and also the clay minerals I'm going to present uh, in just a few minutes, uh, these are important from a fundamental understanding point uh, perspective. So these structures and clay minerals, they help you to understand why clay behaves in certain way. So for instance, uh, as I mentioned, clays are charged particles and because they are charged particles, they can actually attach and track water uh, very different from green, sand grains or gravels. So they can actually keep water molecules, molecules very tightly integrated to, uh, to the particle itself. So um, that actually dictates how clays behave when, they, when water is present. And we're going to talk more on that today. In, in terms of minerals, as I mentioned, these are more fundamental, uh, important from a fundamental perspective. And clay minerals are aluminum silicates and composed of uh, silica tetrahedron and alumina octahedron. And they're combined to form silica and octahedral sheets. So these are common types of clay. Uh, this is at an even lower level. So how clay minerals are uh, formed. And in terms of types of clay minerals, there are really three most common ones that you should know. Uh, the first one is elite. It's actually shown on this side here. And the second one is caolite. 
a calling that excuse me. And the third one is mountain rub uh relanite. So mount more relanite. Okay. So these are most common type of clay minerals. Uh, 